So I'll walk you through start to finish how to make the sage dressing and then how to make the butternut squash salad. So it all starts with heating up some olive oil on the stove in a small skillet. Do this on medium heat and add some olive oil and diced garlic and fresh, fresh sage to the little pan on the stove. <laughs> and then you just wanna stir that around for two or three minutes and then remove it from the heat when the garlic becomes translucent and before the sage or the garlic begins to burn. This really releases a lot of tasty flavors and that's the base of your salad dressing. So you're gonna whisk that together in a large mixing bowl with some apple cider vinegar or champagne vinegar, apple juice, um, some maple syrup, some Dijon mustard, cinnamon, salt, and pepper. Give that a taste, add some more salt and pepper or some vinegar or whatever you need and then reserve half of that on the side. You wanna save half of it that you're gonna to top the dressing with and half of it that you're just gonna to toss the greens in right now. So just put half of that aside and then it's time to add in all of your ingredients. So I like to use um, things from my pantry and from my fridge. So first goes in some pears, some almonds. You can use sliced or slivered almonds or walnuts or pine nuts. Any sort of crunchy thing is good in there. Some dried figs. There's of course the butternut squash which you can find recipes for on Sip Bite Go, and some Parmesan cheese to top it all off. Then a final drizzle of dressing. Print out the recipe at Sip Bite Go. Cheers!